what do we have today what drama what do we have today what drama who is vandalizing whose car kennedy simone's ex-rival is vandalizing her bd's car and this ladies and gents is why she went to jail so if you guys have not heard about this list situation, make sure y'all check out my last video. That would be part one. This is part two. This is just a little update because her BD's sister left a comment under a post and like cleared the air, but their stories is not matching up. The sister and T, hi, my name is T story. They have two different stories. So I'm going to ask you guys, which like, who do you believe? Because I don't know. You know, I noticed that when we have situations like this, it's always like different. Everybody has different takes on what really happened. So this is the sister's um, comment. She said, I'm with my brother, Chris Wood, and been with him the entire night. This is a lie. Yasmin Lopez, which is Christian's Wood, baby mama popped up at my brother's home with three other girls hopped the fence and they got this on camera y'all so just keep watching and then i'll show y'all hop the fence vandalized his cars and home and the neighbors called the cops she was arrested and the cops told my brother that cps would get involved and to go get his son yasmin friend gave christian the address to his son and was told hi my name is t has him me and Christian went to get the baby and I told my bro to call the cops so they can dispute the situation and safely give the child to him. When the cops arrived, Yasmin was out of jail. The cops advised her to let him see his son. Hi, my name is T. Snuck out the back door at 4 a.m. with the babe to Yasmin's house. We left to go to Yas' house peacefully. Yeah, I was peacefully. Chris, I mean... Christian sis, the shovel was against the sliding door. My brother grabbed it to move it. Not once did he threaten it, threaten, hit, or attack any, anyone. I'm assuming. T ran out of Yasmin's house, then called the cops and lied and said we had a G U N. She also said, "What I won't let anyone do is lie and assassinate my brother's character and post different stories of the story." He did nothing wrong, but tried to locate and get his son before CPS gets involved. This is sick and disgusting. And with him, oh, she was with him the entire time. So if this is your brother, of course, you're going to not paint him in a bad light at all. If he did pick up that shovel to hit, hi, my name is T, you will be looking like an L sister in the chat if you was to include that information in your comment so of course you're going to say that he had the shovel he was just moving the shovel or whatever he, whatever you said girl why he had that shovel in his hand <laughs> now i'm not saying he was going to hit her because she was in the house and yet it was a door a window in between the two now bro christian whatever you was doing with that shovel when you seen her recording you should have put that shovel down or something because you T got you on camera with a shovel in your hand and it ain't looking too good. So I'm gonna keep y'all updated on this situation. Yasmin already went to jail for it. Christian, not quite sure if he went to jail, but the crazy thing is if, if he was arrested eventually, like that stuff will probably come out because these T pages, they be having like people looking up, the name because when you go to jail it's like public record so you just look up his name and where he lives and if he was arrested it'll be right there so now this is the video if y'all if y'all missed part one this is the video of him with the shovel and t was saying that she was being threatened he was gonna hit her but like you're in the house you're safe you know so um now what should we look at next hmm I'm just looking for T's comment. Okay, so T said, no B, I walked out my front door and went to Yasmin's house with the baby so that when she got out of jail, she could come straight home to her son because your brother threatened to take the baby from her and he never gave him back. Oh, and to never get, give him back. 
when the police was at my house, I wasn't there. But when they contacted me, I showed them on FaceTime that the baby was safe with Yasmin, the primary parent. She left and y'all came racing to her house to break in. And your brother threatened me with a shovel. The only reason he didn't beat my head in like he said he would was because I was recording. And while he went upstairs to do God knows what, I left out Yasmin's house to get in the car as he harassed me on the sidewalk saying, you know where I live. And oh, wait, what? I left out Yasmin's house to get in the car as you. So the sister harassed. Hi, my name is T, allegedly. On the sidewalk saying, you know where I live and you wanted to beat me up. I got your threats on camera too, babe. <sighs> so this is just another comment of how my name is T and the sister, like going back and forth. This is insane. So next up, we're going to watch. Um, I'm going to show y'all the footage of Yasmin hopping that fence and vandalizing her BD's car. I don't know why she did that. Um, it looked like somebody was actually actively recording. It didn't look like he had a ring camera or nothing. That looked like somebody was recording that. And it's like, if you know this dude play for the Lakers, you should have knew that it was going to be some type of footage. You don't hop the fence. That just shows that when you, when them emotions is running, boy, you'll do anything. This is, this is, and then she went to jail. This is crazy. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this this situation, okay? And um, stay out of jail. Stay out of drama. Let's keep our emotions in check today. Because um, somebody might try you. And you don't want to end up in jail or unalived. Thank <laughs> you. 